Let's learn what are polyhedrons. Now, we all are aware of polygons. We all are aware of polygons. This is a triangle. And this is the most basic form of a polygon. Right? This is a polygon. And why it's a polygon? It's polygon because it's a simple closed curve that is made up of only line segments. And in this case of triangle, we have three line segments. That makes it a, a polygon. And this is the most basic form of polygon. Okay. So now if you're wondering that why are we discussing polygons here? Why are we discussing polygons here? Then all these figures, that is, this is a solid figure. Solid figure means three dimensional figures. That is, they will have length, breadth and height. So all, all these solids, diagrams or figures or objects are actually made up of polygons. They are made up of polygons. For example, this one. This is a cube. This is a cube. Now, if you look at this front face of this cube, focus on these four line segments, then this is actually square. This is a square. So you have one square. Now, this is a front face. Just imagine that you are now looking at the back, back face, right? At the back side of this uh, cube. So this is another square okay now you have front you have back then top one more square then this bottom this one bottom you have one more square then this side to the left plus one and to the right plus one so you have total six squares now you can clearly see that this cube is actually made up of six polygons because you have six squares and it is only made up of polygons that makes it a polyhedron. Okay, what about this one? Again, this is a cuboid. This is a cuboid or a rectangular box. Now we have highlighted some of its faces. Okay, so if you look at these four line segments, let me name it. If I name it A, B, then this one C and this one D. So if you look at A, B, C, sorry. Okay, A, B, C, D. If you look at A, B, C, D, then this is actually the front rectangle, right? So you have one rectangle. Then this is the first rectangle. And just at the back of this, that is at the back side of this cuboid, there's another face, another rectangle. So you have two. In the same way, like here, you have we have six squares in the case of Q. We will have six rectangles in the case of cuboid. In the case of cuboid, you will have six rectangles, right? So if you have six rectangles, it, mean, it means that it's made up of six polygons. It is made up of six polygons. And that makes it this three-dimensional object or solid diagram a polyhedron. So this cube is a polyhedron. Cuboid is a polyhedron. Okay. Now let's talk something more about polyhedrons the these points that you are that you can see here these are actually vertices these are vertices vertices is plural vertex is singular just as just in the case of you know these uh, polygons like this is a triangle and we know that in a triangle we have, let's say that this is A, B, C. So we have three vertices. In the same way, we have vertices in this case, uh, in the case of polyhedrons. Okay. Now, if you look at, let's say that, if you look at this line segment in this case, actually this line segment is edge. This is edge. Triangle is a two-dimensional it's a two-dimensional diagram. This is a three-dimensional diagram. It will have length, it will have breadth, and it will have height. So in this case, we don't have edges. And why? Because in this case, we don't have faces. Now, if you're thinking it, what's faces? We have six squares. 
So you have you have six faces. You have six faces. Front face, back face, top face, bottom face, this left side and the right side. So you have total six faces. Now, if you look at this particular line segment that we call edge in this case is actually the place where two faces are meeting. This front face, right? And the right side face, this face and this face, this one, the right side face. So at this edge, you are having two faces. So in every, if you take any of these edges in this queue, then at every edge, you are actually getting two faces. Right, so what's the important terms? Vertices, then edges, edge is singular, edges is plural, and then you have faces. So these terms you have to remember, right? Like here in this case, you have to have this is vertex, this is vertex, this is vertex, this is vertex, then front face, back face, right side face, left side face, top face, and bottom face. Okay, now we have some more diagrams here and again if you look at this diagram it's actually uh, let's say that this is a rectangular base or a, a square base okay it's not a very perfect diagram but let's say that this is square face and then on this square base on this square base you have this on this side you have one triangle that will be face, right? They all are meeting here. They all are meeting here. It's a kind of pyramid. It's a kind of pyramid. It will have a base. And then at one given point, all the faces will meet at one given point. So this base and one face, this one, Two phase, second phase, this one, third phase, this one, and the fourth phase, this one. Can you imagine? From every line segment, you'll have one phase, right? So this is also a polyhedron because it's all made up of uh, square base. Uh, sorry, it's made up of polygons, the base and the three triangles that you can imagine. Sorry, four triangles that you can imagine. In this case, just imagine that you are you are having a cube you are having a cube and on the top of this cube you are actually having a pyramid like this this is the base so imagine that you are holding this base and you have kept it here and on the top of this cube you are having a pyramid right on the top of this you are having a pyramid again it's all made up of polygons it's all made up of polygons because cube is a poly, uh, is a polyhedron and if you think that this is a pyramid, it's also a polygon. Therefore, this diagram is also a polyhedron. In this case, again, a cube, but it's not a perfect cube because there's some change. Uh, there's a change here that is at this particular vertex. Like if you cut off this vertex and make something like this. So if you're thinking that this is not a polyhedron, but if you focus on this particular shape, this is actually a triangular shape. This is actually a triangular shape. And what has happened is this front face is now actually not a square, but now this is a pentagon. Why? Because one side, two side, three side, fourth side, and this fifth side. This fifth side. Now it's a pentagon. So your front face is a pentagon. Your this right side face is also a pentagon. Why? Because one face side, second side, third side, fourth side, and this is a fifth side. And the same thing is with this top face also, with this top face also. So your front, top, and right side face, they are actually made up of pentagons. These are pent pentagons, but the rest all are squares. But if rest all are squares and this these three faces are made are pentagons but still they are all polygons they are all polygons and since they are all polygons and this is a triangle this shaded portion is actually a triangle triangle is again a polygon that makes it a polyhedron right 
So can you look at this diagram and tell whether it's a polyhedron or not? Of course it's a polyhedron. It's made up of again of polygons. This is one polygon, this is another polygon, this is the front face, it's a triangular shape and this exact shape will be at the back side of this particular 3D diagram or solid diagram. It's a polyhedron. Same thing here. You again have, it's, you know, every shape is triangular. This face is triangular. This face is triangular. This face is triangular. And rest all are triangular faces. So triangular faces means that these are all polygons. That makes it a polyhedron. Now, since we have discussed what are polyhedrons, let's look at some diagrams or 3D objects that are not polyhedrons. The first one is a sphere. This is a sphere, like you're holding a football. Now, if you imagine that you're holding a football and you are viewing at the cutoff image of this one, like you have just sliced your football from the top and you're holding this shaded portion in your hand. So if you're holding this shaded portion in your hand, that's actually the curved surface of that sphere. Now tell me, is this sphere, is this diagram made up of polygons? No, they are not made up of polygons. You cannot find a single polygon here. That makes it a non-polyhedron diagram. It's a non-polyhedron diagram or object. This is a cylinder. This is a cylindrical shape. Now think that you are holding a, a, an iron rod. You are holding an iron rod. It will have a top base, right? It will have top surface. It will have a bottom surface that's around it. And then you have this curved surface here. So that's, that makes it a cylindrical shape. But tell me, can you tell whether your cylinder or the iron rod that you're holding in your hand, that you're holding in your hand is made up of uh, polygons? No, they are not made up of polygons. This is a round surface. Above, above one, that is the top and the bottom are circular shapes. These two are circular, circular shapes. That makes it a non-polyhedron diagram. Here you have a cone. Imagine that you are holding uh, your ice cream cone. Now your ice cream cone has uh, this, if you take this one as the base or, or, or the top surface, that's a circular shape. That's a circular shape. And this one is again the rounded. So the rounded part in the case of a cone and the cylinder are called lateral surfaces. In the case of a a cylinder and cone, these are all lateral surfaces. Again, cone is not made up of polygons. It is not made up of polygons. That makes it non-polyhedron diagram.